<laughs> what's up, y'all? This your boy, Thyron. What's up? What's up, fam? Hey, man, we're doing a YouTube live, baby. You know how I love my live videos. You know how I like doing live, baby. We're going to get things going. Uh, you know, like I say, we're going to be uh, representing Uncle Steve Shape, TNT Barbecue, baby. We got the, uh, you know what that's saying? Hey, y'all better get some of that grandpa's pecan rub. But man, we got a whole bone in uh, pork crown roast. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Just want to say, love y'all guys. It is amazing, man. Hey, man, I'm telling you what, man, it's been amazing. And just want to say what's up to everybody. Y'all, man, happy Thanksgiving. Look, man, I, now let's just check out what we work with, guys. Hey, 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 hey. This is a whole bone in. This is a whole bone in uh, pork loin right here, guys. Look, look, man, I don't know what I'm doing. I kind of do. But look, man, this is two of them, baby. Two whole in pork crown rolls, baby. Y'all cook anything like this? I cook something like this on the show. I cooked this on the show, guys. I did. This is what I cooked on the show. And this is how I like came. So, man, we're going to get into this right here. We're going to get into this, guys, together. Do y'all want to see us getting this together, guys? This is going to be a journey. I know football games are going on. I know a lot of things are happening. But if y'all want to see us get into this, man, put some ones in the chat, guys. You know, I don't like forcing nothing on you. But this is an amazing cook, man. I tell you what. This is going to be amazing cook. I just got a couple things I need, man. And like I say, you know, this is a live video, so we, no editing, no nothing. You know, we got we got some butcher twine we're gonna use here pretty soon. We got my knives over here, uh, cooking gill, baby. The cooking gill, best knives on the market, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? If that matters, my opinion. Let's do it. They said let's do it. Okay, so let me get like let me get a uh, let me get some uh, gloves on. Yep. Hey man, what y'all up to, guys? Man, God is good. Man, we've been blessed. We've been truly blessed, man. This year, I'm thankful for a lot of things. Man, I'm thankful for first of all, I'm thankful for my family and my health and my family's health. I'm also thankful. For uh, people that support me, I, I, I am I am most definitely thankful for that. I'm gonna try to get this out of the packet without making a big mess, man. Cause last thing I do want to make a big mess, so I'm gonna try to get this out of the packet without making a big mess. Oh my goodness! And you know what? This is thick, thick vacuum seal stuff. This is this is this is this this is back and seal like crazy. Oh my goodness! Yeah, they they, they want this to be held in there. Yes. You know we don't wash meat because washing meat, like I say, that that's cross contamination. And uh, you know, I learned it in school. You know, uh, food handling school. You know. Oh my goodness! Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at that, baby. Oh my good. Look at that, baby. Oh my Jesus. Zeus, I'm trying to make not make a mess at all with all this uh this this uh blood and everything. That's the purge coming off of it. We're gonna put this one inside the thing. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and dump this purge. I got a garbage right here. We're gonna be very study with this right here. Oh! In the garbage it went. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Mm hmm. That's why I got paper towels, guys. So I'm gonna. Yes. Oh my goodness, yeah, baby. Smoking Joe, what up, brother? How you doing? 
we doing a bone-in pork loin live using the cooking gill, baby. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna hook it up. Yes, we are. Yes, we are, guys. Huh. Man, I'm just gonna get it dried off as much as I can. Yep. Oh. Uh, oh, yes, yes. Hey, go over and cook gill. Put in uh, the cold fire Matthews and get 15% uh, off, but they always run specials for the cooking gill, man. Go check out the cooking gill knife company, man. Love it. And you finna see what it does. Cause we gotta trim this thing up old school. Yeah, that's a good knife, man. The cooking gill, baby. Yeah. So, I'm looking at this. So, the way I'm looking at this, guys, is all this look familiar. These are like little uh, chine bones right here. And I know you need a saw to cut these out. So I don't know how I'm gonna get these right here out of here. But it's a, if it's a wheel, it's a way. I think it's like a little cartilage you cut long here. And, um, and we're gonna just keep this kind of like the way it is. And we're gonna, we're gonna get this cleaned up. Right here, I know this right here is the uh, pork loin right here. And see these right here will be the baby back ribs. These right here will be the baby back ribs. The roast will stop probably right here. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna try to get this thing looking like somebody today. First, I'm gonna start off with this meat right here. This, this is like a tenderloin. It must be part of the tenderloin. I'm just gonna cut right out here. And one thing I noticed by just butchering hogs growing up is you, you let the you just uh let the bone and knife do the job. You don't wanna uh you just wherever the meat wanna lead you to get cut out, you wanna just go ahead and let the knife cap with the knife and the knife will cut whatever you want out of it. And look, man, we ain't disregarding nothing too much, you know. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead. Uh, you know, that, that 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 must be like the tender loin or something, cause that is so tender. That is some tender meat right there, baby. Yeah. So we're gonna put this in a pan right here. Yeah. And yeah, so. Like I said, guys, I think I'm gonna try to get these, these, these bones right here out of them. These specific bones right here. So, uh, uh, let's see if they got a separation point. Yeah, I see they separate right up in here. So I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna get a, 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 a thicker, shorter knife. And we're just gonna go in like right around these bones right here. And we're gonna try to get these bones separated like such. And then we're gonna go down. I'm gonna go right here with these, these feather bones right here. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna follow those feather bones right there. So. Gonna follow that, follow it just like that, though. And like I said, you want you want everything to go. You want to kind of let your bone just let your knife do the work. That's why it's so good to work with a sharp knife. See, I'm just going to follow 
following it just straight down like that. So you see it there? So you see I'm following that right there. Cause I want to get the um, keep these bones right here, but you want to come in about right here, and you want these bones to go. So we we, we almost there. You see it there? So that's how we doing it right there. We go ahead and cut between those bones so we can get them pulled out like such. A sharp knife always is the key to doing things like here. Guys, I tell you what, I I I don't got no butcher the spirits except when it comes to deers and things of that nature. But the anatomy I kind of understand. And when you grow up the way I grew up, you see you can do stuff like that. See you just go ahead and pull that bone right there out of it. As long as you got one at a time, you can just break them out like such. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm gonna break them out one at a time. And then I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let that knife do what it's supposed to do. And you just keep on. And you wanna, you wanna make sure you follow. Water on. Make sure you follow the, uh, let the blade do the work. Let the blade do the work. Good morning, Uncle Sid. Good morning. You had it already. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. You know, you got the, I'm trying to, uh, See, they just come out just like such. And this, when you don't have a saw, don't worry about it. You have to take your time and do it the right way, huh, Uncle Sid? Yeah. Take your time, do it the right way. You know, you got sharp enough knives, you can. And I'm gonna get the rest of these bones out right here. You see, I'm gonna get all my bones right there gone, but I wanna do a little bit at a time. And I'll come along with a little small hammer with a mallet and I get those bones out with my meat cleaver. There you go. See right there? Cleaned up with a meat cleaver here pretty soon, but the key thing is to get these bones removed before you start. Um, now if I had a saw, it would be easier, Way easier, but I don't have a saw. Got that doubt and overcome. What, what, what you saying, Brother Jones? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Um, a comment. Well, I'm gonna continue to watch you all. I'm looking at this, you might lose some meat, but I'm looking at, why don't you just, like, cut all the way up on it? Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I don't want the bonus, I want, I, want the, uh, I want it to be like a French roast bone. So I just want to come in, but I'm just doing a little bit of time. I'm saying, like, I'm saying, like, cut up on it like this here. When you get this here, hold it over. Yeah. Like, see the meat here? Cut it from the bone up here. Yeah, they're gonna make it boneless. Oh, you want? Oh, you want? Oh, oh. I, I, yeah, I want, oh. I want to keep the. I want to keep her. I want a real roast. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I seen yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Took it out, so. Yeah, I want a real roast. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So, so them. Uh, so yeah. these bones right here need to go. Yeah. Yeah, I understand what you're doing. Yeah, but see, yeah. I see you had took them out down now. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want the real brothers. No, they, I ain't taking them out. That's where it ends at. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. These are just like the baby back ribs. Yeah. And then I'm going to cut right here. 
Mm-hmm. But I need to get these, uh, these, yeah. uh, they call them chine bones or yeah. big bones. I need to get yeah. them out of here. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, yeah, I see what you're doing. I'm talking about now. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mm-hmm. I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna break this part right here because it goes to right here. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna take that whole thing right there off. But I'm yeah. gonna uh, cause there's no bone right there, so I'm just yeah. gonna take that off right there just to uh, you yeah. know, you make sure you going between that there. Yeah, you got to go between that. That ain't uh-huh. hard. Yeah, that, that ain't hard. Yep, just go in between that though. So you and get this knife right here. And this is this is something a butcher will do. But you know, like I say, I like to experiment. I like to learn stuff on the set. And yeah. I like to try I like to test my knowledge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If I had a saw, that'd be it'd be amazing with a saw. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do for the hardware stuff. <laughs> oh, I ain't think about that. <laughs> yeah, I want to get that on Black Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I can always adapt. Yeah, you know what I'm doing. Yeah, you again, you know what I'm doing. Adapting and overcoming. Yeah, you was out in the woods and then all of a sudden you had to do it like that. Yeah, had to do it like that, huh? Yes, sir. If you want to eat like that. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So we're almost done with that, though. I'm going to go ahead and uh, Just gonna go ahead and uh, we'll get that all fixed up right there. We get all that cut off. We got it all broke up, so the bones got to come off in order to, to make the cut what I want to make it out of. So. I'm just gonna run everything off this sharp knife right here. You get all the excess meat off there. You get all the bones off. Like such. I'm running off everything. Filling for bones. Making sure no chips uh, are out. So. All this I'm gonna disregard all these bones. What's that? No, I wish I had a band saw, no band no, saw. You don't have long, man. I wish I had a band saw, but that's okay. I'm gonna make it do what it do. I'm gonna take this beautiful fat cap. How's it looking though, Uncle Sid? It's yeah, looking all right. Let me turn it up to the bone thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna turn it back like you did. Now I'm finna, uh, hold on. Listen, I'm just gonna look at some. Okay, okay. So I got most of those time. Yeah, yeah. So they got most of them time bones off there. Yeah. Yep. Yep. So now I'm finna uh go around here and I'm finna finish these bones right here. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna go in just a little bit, guys. Just a little. Um, straight knife, straight cut. Not overdoing it. We can overdo it. Uh huh. And we're gonna just go in between the bones. And the key thing is just to. Have a sharp knife. And we'll get that rest off. We just want to get the main stuff off of it right now. Looking like somebody don't see it. Yeah, it's starting to look like Christmas. Starting to look like Christmas, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I know I want for Christmas. I want a band song for Christmas. All right. <laughs> yeah, that was it. Say it longer. Well, <laughs> you've been done, huh? Uh huh. But uh, uh, this is just. But we'll see, everybody can't have a band so so yeah. we don't do it. And, and this is what I did before they hear the bands. So. Yeah, and this is a lot cheaper too, Uncle said. Like, you're going you to get somebody, you're going to get a butcher to do this for you, he's going to charge you. Oh, yeah. He's going to charge you some money. Yeah. He's going to charge you some real good money. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then now you see if you get a band, so you see what you need to cut. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you see how to do it and what to cut. Yeah. But next one, I may go to the store and just get like a, a, a rug roll saw. Hacksaw. A hacksaw, Uncle said. I think that'll make it easier. Feel me? Oh, that'll make it a hell of a lot easier. You want to run to the store for me? <laughs> get down something. Tell down to come run to the store. Yeah. I sit down to the store. You need to. Okay. Well, you probably do because, see, you need to cut down this. That, this yeah. Back. This bone now, uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, I yeah. I go to the hardware product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to the hardware store. It's, they sell bands. So yeah, they sell, they sell bands. Oh, yep. I need, I need this like this super thin. I need a. Yeah, Uncle said I need a band saw. So I said, you don't need some. I saw band saw. Yeah. I'm gonna grab my lock. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. Thank you, Uncle. Mm. Well, Y'all, Uncle said, here to save the day. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need some. Yeah. Yeah, but man, it's a lot of work, man. Yeah, if you had the right, if I had the right equipment, yeah. it wouldn't be a lot, but. Yeah, well, sometimes, like I say, you show them how to do it and what to do so they know what to do when they get it with the it, band, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. They yeah, might have yeah. did something wrong with the band, so. Now you know. I'm gonna get water on here. Maybe downstairs. So, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start uh, getting these bones. You said these bones freshed out, Joe. Uncle said, when you, <laughs> this uncle said when you head to Florida. No, uh, the 11th. The 11th. The 11th. Joe, I don't want to see him in Texas working at your trailer, Joe. <laughs> I, want, I always wanted to go to Texas. <laughs> he won't take me. No, Joe, I don't want to see him there, Joe. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? I'm not. I, I, I'm scraping these bones. Yeah. See this what I'm talking about. I'm just stopping you for a minute. Okay. Take it all over. I know what you're saying. You got the cut now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's why I said I need the saw. Okay. Yeah, because yeah, that's what I'm talking. About. Yeah, yeah, because I'm gonna get it ready. Then when I get the saw, you come back. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna I'll trust be, it. Yeah, I'll be back. Yeah. yeah. So, right. 
Yeah, hacksaw. Just rub over with the hacksaw. Yeah. I'm just scraping these bones, guys. You know what I'm saying? Believe it or not, this is the same uh, kind of thing I had to go through in the show to do two crown roasts. I had to do pretty much the same thing. We were like that for Melissa Cookston at the Barbecue Showdown Season 2. At at, at kind of uh, do it, me and Logan work together on this right here. You know, for the holiday meal. And you see, guys, what I'm doing, I'm scraping a bone. You gotta scrape that bone right there. Like I said, man, I'm going to teach y'all how to do a crown roast. Save a lot of money yourself. It's going to be amazing. When we get all this. The key thing is try to keep the area super clean. We're going to go through. We're going to try to clean up the bottom half. I think I'm gonna go through and just uh remove the meal brain. That's what I'm gonna do. Remove the meal brain. And we can do a boneless, a boneless uh roast, but to me, a bonus roast don't present like, like this roast presents. This roast, when we get done with it, it's going to present so amazingly. Y'all just see, I just took the membrane off. Hey, guys, are y'all learning something or not? You know, I don't want to be wasting y'all guys' time. But this is, uh, this is, this, this is like, the, this is the hidden meat, I'm telling you. Right here. Uh, pork loin. Just keep scraping, scraping old bones, baby. Keep scraping, keep, keep, uh, keep scraping old bones. And when you scrape old bones, it gonna come off. Like such. And, and you can use a spoon. What we doing is we're doing a we're we're basically tripping on a bone in. Um knife I'm using is 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 uh the grizzly series by the cooking gill. I'm just trying to get these bones looking good. This knife is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we just get these bones hanging out like such. So when we cook these in the smoker, we can have a uh, amazing bone in pork pork loin. I'm telling you, man, this is this is gonna be amazing cook, bro. And sisters, yeah, I'm just going. Ahead and what we're doing now is we just clean up the bone. Mm-hmm. 
clean up the bone a little bit. This knife is super sharp, so you gotta be real careful. Mm -hmm. And and when you wrap them, when you when you wrap them, the bones will get white because you're gonna wrap them in a little more foil. But you don't wanna leave a lot of meat on them though. So that's the key thing. Not leave a lot of meat on them. Turn it around so y'all can see what I'm doing. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. Just get these bones cleaned up a little bit. Hey man, tell me where y'all from, guys. You know what I'm saying? Shout out time. Representing, I'm thankful for y'all guys. Thankful for YouTube. YouTube is a special community in my heart. I, I tell you what, Brother Joe, all oh, y'all guys, man, Smokin' Joe Pitt, Clarence, CJ, uh, competition specialist, Brother James from Aiming and Claim, Uncle Steve Shake, all the guys are especially Rick, Kirby Q, uh, T. Roy Cooks, all the guys, man, I, I love y'all guys, man, Russ Jones, Brother Joe said, Texas in the house. Hey, Joe, how your trailer doing, man? Man, man, I know your tra I can't wait to get down to Brother Joe and, and try your food, man. I can't. I can't. Baby, we can't wait to get try Brother Joe food, can we, honey? Yeah, we can't. We can't wait to get down there and try Brother Joe. Y'all don't know Brother Joe got a food trailer. Uh, Smoking Joe Pitts. Food trailer, man. I I'm quite sure you subscribe to me. You subscribe to him, man. This guy's amazing. And uh, I'm just doing my, uh, I just try to do all my little work before Uncle said get back all the detail work. This stuff takes time, man, especially when you don't do it for a living. But if you keep at it, you'll get, you'll get pretty good at it. This ain't something you just wake up doing overnight. You know what I'm saying? Wrong, well, man. So, my key thing is make sure there's no bones in this meat. So, bone fragments. I think I'm going to cut it. So, if anybody know, I think I'm going to go with that saw and I'm going to cut it right about here. Or should I cut? Uh, uh, let me see. Or should I, I'm going to cut about right here. I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna get the saw, I'm gonna cut right here. About right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to go right there. That's where we wanna go. Mm-hmm. Right there. That, 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 that's why I wanna go right there. And I think, yeah, right there. So I'm gonna go right here and I'm gonna cut down right here. But I'm gonna have light right here. So I'm gonna cut down right here. Right there, Joe. Then hopefully that, that'll get all the bones right there. Like this need to come back just a little bit more right here. This one need to come back just a little bit more. And then come like this a little bit more. Yep, that's where I'm gonna cut it right there. And then I'm gonna, uh, after I cut, I'm gonna get some butcher's twine and I'm gonna come right here and I'm gonna just go cut that. So I'm gonna start working on the next one while Uncle Sam is 
So I get this off to the side right here. So I know what I'm gonna do when Uncle said come back, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this going right here. Ooh, so what I learned, so, so I guess what I learned is I do need a butcher saw. So first thing I'm gonna do is, like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take out, be everything straightened up so I ain't got mess all over the place. So, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, skin it. Take the membrane off. I'm gonna take the membrane off. And when Uncle said get back with a bone and knife, we'll be ready to go. came off at once. <laughs> I'm going to take this, I think, I noticed the tenderloin. I'm going to take the tenderloin out. Tenderloin's right there. Part of the pork tenderloin right there, so I'm going to take it out. Take out the silver skin and stuff. You talk fried up. This is amazing. Fried up. Oh, that's amazing. Take that silver skin off of it. That's tenderloin. That's the inside tenderloin right here, guys. That's like the back strap of a deer. This is one of the most tender pieces on a hog. Most underrated pieces on a hog. I just like taking the silver skin off of it. Since I already got it there. This is great to grill, great to smoke, great to do everything. Bake it, wrap it, you do all that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, look at that. That is one tender piece of meat. I see a little piece of silver skin. I ain't gonna do too much to it. Just take it off, just like that and such. Yep. But yeah. So, uh, I'm going ahead and, uh, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna work backwards now. I'm gonna go ahead and get this bone ready to go. You can hear it hitting. And I'm gonna go ahead and just get this one. See how fast I learned, guys, how to, how to do the thing?
Uh, Uncle said, going to get the uh, thing, honey? So we're gonna do, we're gonna keep doing this right here. Y'all tell me I look a lot better than what I did the first time, right? Hey, you can't teach your old dog new tricks. <laughs> Come on. You can't teach your old dog new tricks. And I'm just going now. I look a lot better on it, guys. Oh, I'm learning. Learn on the fly. Learn on the fly. I don't fly. I'm gonna use this right here, Grizzly Sears, baby. Yes, sir. Terry gonna get your walk. Okay. Get up and call, huh? This is the. It's a different name on that one. It's the cooking gill. It's a cooking gill, but I think it might be like an onyx or something. Onyx. Oh, okay. Onyx. Oh, okay. Yeah, I yeah, love the it. The onyx series. The onyx series. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you see how the, the bone getting clean? Best friend Papa L. Nice. One on me is yeah, then the other one be for us. Nice. Oh yeah, do y'all see the difference? Y'all, is it? They can see the difference in the bones. Y'all see the difference in the bones, baby? The bones looking like 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 somebody. Presentation, baby. Don't look presentation. I mean, you can't eat it, but God, dog, boy, it looks nice. Pork one, pork one, very unrated, guys. 
underrated. I'm telling you what, man. Eat pork loin. It is amazing. You know how to cook it, though. Okay, I'm trying to get where y'all can see this big chunk of meat, man. No wonder you butcher char so much for this darn thing. It is a monster. But at least you know how to do it. This is just how you got to do this stuff if you want it looking good. I know it looks boring, but hey, you know, this is what separates sometimes from first place to fourth place to fifth place. It's the little things. It's the little thing that you know how to do, little thing that you got a, a little knowledge of, and you just, and you learn. This is how I learned how to cook like this, guys. I don't got no culinary schooling you know all i know is is i butchered a couple of deer well a lot of deer the, the the butcher a lot of hogs but you know but you still make those hogs look good you still got to make them taste good but you got to make things look presentable so this is a part of making things look presentable you know When people uh, eat your food, your family, you got them sitting there like they, they ate at a uh, uh, five-star restaurant. That, that's how I want my family to feel and my friends, anybody eat my food. I, I, Joe could contest that. Anybody that, that they got barbecue love could contest how they want people to feel. You know? You want people to feel like they eat at a fine star restaurant, you know? <clears throat> yeah. done. I know this ain't like, oh, but it, it, it's going to get done. When y'all see the finished product, y'all be like, oh my goodness, T. Yes. When y'all see the finished product, baby, y'all be like, Oh my goodness, T, you done did your thing.
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, that, I think the rest of them. Yeah, that's what I'm coming for. Yeah. Can y'all see what I'm looking at now? Make sure y'all can see Palaka floored in the house. What's up, Palaka? So look at it now, guys. If you can see those bones. You see how those bones is right there? Them bones clean right there, baby. And I'm gonna go ahead and get set up for the cut. I think we're gonna cut. We're gonna cut right down here. We're gonna cut from here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that cut right here. Amazing when we're done. They're gonna look amazing when we're done, baby. You gonna tell me that that don't look good already? I'm gonna tell me that don't look good already. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna square up some sides, but I'm gonna have the thing looking good. Once we, get, once we, I never could do this with sharp, dull knives, guys. These, these knives are. Amazing. I want to make sure I get everything situated where I want the knife to cut. Here, go straight down, boom. Um, starting those child bones out of there. Not breaking them, but I'm just gonna get them out of there. Cut one cut right here. Oh, well, I bone on pork on my. See it though? Boom. One cut right there. Bone and pork on right there. Just one cut. And then we're going to truss it up and make it look all pretty. Hit it with some rubs. I know a trick. Logan taught me a trick. <laughs> 
So Logan is my buddy on Barbecue Showdown. He taught me a trick. They didn't they edited it out, but uh you can get a spoon and do it. You can get a spoon and do it, yeah. Guys, you gotta be very, like I say, uh, meticulous about when you're cooking for your family and you're practicing the craft of barbecue. Because, like they say, you practice like you play. And 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 and, and, and to me, that's 100 percent truth. You know, you if you want to go out there and do a maze, you got to practice. You know, you got to practice day in, day out if you can. Whatever your budget affords you, you know, when you're cooking for family, you know, if you want to get in this barbecue thing, people want to have all kinds of sponsors and things like that, but you need to, you need to practice your craft. And pork one is a good uh, practice tool. Pork butt is a good practice tool. All those are good meats to practice on. And we finna do this up. As soon as I upset get back here. Uh -huh. You gotta excuse me guys, cause uh this right here is something you got that you got to work in and you know I can edit this and stuff like this and make it look like it's easy. For the most part, that's a good looking bone and loin. For the most part, that, that looks amazing. That, that look good presentation right there. We just have to get it cleaned up just a little bit, a little more foil. We'll get, the, we'll get this all cleaned up, looking looking outstanding. I'm telling you what, this one cut, 
and all that's coming off. And we'll be ready to go. As soon as Uncle said, get, hey, I'm going to put the knives right here. Y'all just look at this right here. Mm -hmm. Amazing knives, guys. Cooking gill, baby. Yes. I'm just give a mess clean up a little bit. I'm a cutting board. These are gonna be some the good good pork chop right here. But I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, bone this one out. I'm going to bone this one out. It'll be a good pork chop, but I'm gonna bone it out. Right now. this one out right here see that's a good loin just bone, bone out loin right there say for instance if you want to stuff it you can stuff this right here easy basically what I like doing is cut down the middle Ooh. uncle said what up uncle? cold out there uh huh uh uh huh and just cut that mm -hmm. side of the middle Oh yeah. yeah, that's right. Like, well, I was showing y'all how to bone stuff up. <laughs> All right, Uncle Sid, you ready for this, um, Uncle Sid? Yeah. Uh, oh, you done did. Oh. Yeah. That, that look pretty, don't it, Uncle? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go wash it off right like Uncle Sid. Okay? Yeah. Wash my blade off a little bit. Yeah. Washed it up. Gonna switch the blade around. Huh? Oh, why? Wow. 
cannot. You got to practice it, folks. You got to practice it out of All right, thank you, Uncle. I'm about to get the cut and yeah, like I say, uh, all right, one cut. I'm gonna go put this right here on the side right here. We're gonna cut this right here one time. Man. We're not done with it yet, but we can make perfect slices down. We got everything pretty much. All we got is bones. Just you slice off with it. Chine bones gone. Mm. What y'all think about that? What does that do? <laughs> I know I need to get one. But like I said, I don't do this a lot. I just got a good deal on this. And, uh, you know, uh, we're we going to keep it a, we're going to keep a buck with you. You know what I'm saying? Look at that duck. That's gone. So let's get the other one gone. And we'll go to finishing up what we was finishing up with. Our bone-in pork rolls. So, you got right there, let's start right here.
Okay. Oh. Uh. Workout, baby. <laughs> so let's get this ready to go. Let's get things ready to go. Let's get things. Put my knife up. Put my tools up. Let's get things ready to get going. We're going to, uh, all right, so we got our bone and pork crown roast, okay, and we can, we can roll it up like that and make a, and make a crown roast out of it easy. You see how that is, a crown roast right there? That looks beautiful, doesn't it? We could do that there. But I like I like to make a, a, a like a standard roast, but we want to make sure we have it the way we should have it. So let's we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fish these bones. So we're gonna fish these bones one time. Uh huh. Fish these bones. All right, we're gonna go in like such. If you're gonna look at me, I want you to go. We're gonna get like here. We're gonna do one like here. Keep it in like here, and we're gonna go just like that. One time for Chef Logan. <laughs> and I'm going to go. Uh, what are we going to do? We're going to do. Uh, uh, and this is this is this is not something I do every day, so you gotta work with me. But I know the I know the uh. So you're gonna get your hand like here. You're gonna get your hand like here. You're gonna go in. You wanna keep going just like that, though. You see how I'm doing that though, baby? Uh -huh. I got it. Oh, I swear it like this. Yeah. 
This is all about making it cook even. Mm-hmm. So, that's how I'm doing it right now. That's how I do it right now. And that's my bone, that's my bone and crown roast pork one. We're going to season this up right here. Let me get my hand out here. One clean hand, one dirty hand. Mm-hmm. I'm using this TNT. Uh, Grandpa's pecan shake. Yeah. Oh my goodness, got a smoky flavor to it already. And when you're doing this right here, Use a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All sides. This is this is not a, a, a very salty rub. It's very flavorful, but it's not salty at all. So don't worry about. Get that rub on there. So. Mm-hmm. To make it look pretty, put a little more foil on that like, like such. So when they cook, bones will get all dark looking. And all the extra meat. It is team off of it. Trust me. 
the bowl to be nice and white. You don't have to worry about nothing. I'm gonna let this marinade sit in. Get a little fancy, man. Can we get a little fancy right quick? Like, can we get a little fancy? Y'all, this is no editing, no nothing. This is straight off the of work rip, what we're doing right here. You know what I'm saying? Live. Y'all seeing it here. This is, you know, a lot of people can do stuff when they edit it and make things look real, real, like it's difficult. But, you know, as you can see, it was difficult, but I made it difficult by not being prepared. I thought the knife would go through it, but I know I should have had that saw, but I didn't. And that's okay. We're gonna do this. We're just putting our pinky finger up a little bit. That's all. Just putting our pinky finger up a little bit. That's it. That's it. Just just putting our pinky finger up a little bit. Sometimes you got to put your pinky finger up a little bit and just cause it's Christmas time, we're going to, we, you know, Thanksgiving time, we're going to hit a little rosemary, we're going to go ahead and let that rosemary tie up with that, that tie like that, like such. Sometimes you got to Sometimes you got to put you. God, I don't want to talk about that, man. Look at Man, is that not amazing? Is that. Thank you, brother. Oh, man, what's up, Mike? Thank you, brother. We're getting ready for our contest here pretty soon. Waiting on a couple more sponsors, Mike. But that's a bone-in American Barbecue Showdown Netflix champion bone-in crown roll. So we're going to do one two different ways. So we just did this one. Y'all just seen that one. Look at no bone. Look at that. That, that looks amazing. That looks pretty, man. That looks pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty, pretty as pretty. Stop being so pretty. Mm-hmm. So, uh, we have some more gloves on. There you go, telling me no again. There you go, ooh wee. I'm sorry, that's pretty, baby. It is very pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and get something. I'm gonna change out my cutting board. I'm gonna get something to put this in. Put it in for the, for, the, for, the, 
Voilà, voilà. Your belt. Get your help, son. What's she doing wrong? I was talking to mom. I'm the only person that. Uh, hello. I need. I need to get. Uh, hold on a second. I need to get this cut board up for a second. We gonna. Uh, hold on. All right. All right. Get a cut board up for a second. That's on. No, no, no. We got a camera right here. Can I get a wood cutting board? A wood cutting board? A wood one? Also, did you? A wood cutting board, yeah. Electric cutting board. Put in my wallet, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna sit that in now. We got one more to do. Dallas, can I get another garbage bag, son? All right, guys, so we got this one right, bad baby right here, okay? So this one, we're gonna do a little different, but we're gonna stick with the same thing. First, we're gonna truss it. I'm gonna truss it old school style. Eh. Let me see something. I'm gonna go super tight because this one is. One. Two. I say old school, baby. Three. Come on. Sometimes you gotta do stuff the old school way. Uh huh. It may take a long, but at least it's old school. And I think I should do one more. And when you cut these strings, give yourself a lot of room to work with. Give yourself a lot of room to work with, guys, when you cut these things. So, see, I'm going to go ahead and just take this one. Give yourself a lot of room. Go up under. And... I try to do two of them. Try to do two butcher knots. And I try to cut the knot as soon as I do it. I don't like waiting till the coming back because I always cut a knot. <laughs> I always cut a knot. I always cut a knot so I'm like eh. Oh, 
like this simple, guys. This, this, this is what we do. You know, sometimes I I I I, I don't want to overthink things, and you know, it's good to have a little fancy things about you, but sometimes you got to be country about the situation. Is you got to keep it simple. You all know it's very important that we do it like that here because to me it helps even cooking. even cooking and I hope that this is this is educational for some people you know it it, it don't it, it just takes a little know-how and, 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 and you know this is cheaper this is a very I won't say cheap but this is a very elegant meal that doesn't cost all that very elegant very elegant One more bone over. I don't want to tell them already that. One more bone over. I'm going. I'm tired like this. As you can see, Carlos is standing up. Like it's somebody. I got some put some respect on his name. I need some more string, yeah. Need some more butcher butcher twine. Mm-hmm. Hey, come see how this look, honey. I'ma need some salt. Some flaky salt. You know all that with a knife? Yeah, I'm doing I'm doing uh, pretty much all the other knives, yep. Yeah. Did you end up using a saw? Yeah, I used a saw. I should have I knew I should have knew I needed one, but I just like eh. If I can do it without it, you know what I'm saying? But you know, uh but uh man, it, it looks amazing. But those knives worked amazing though. Mm hmm it Looks good. Can I get a little, little bowl of flaky salt and uh, and some garlic, green egg garlic? I think I'm gonna do this just country style with the salt and pepper. Mm And I said, it don't take a long time. Just take a little know-how. This is start to finish. Start to finish. Start to finish. And you just like I say, just 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 this regular butcher knot, not nothing goofy. You can Weber 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 Keller Grill, Weber Smoky Mountain, any charcoal grilling. This doesn't take all day. 
You can do this the day before, night before, the day before, put in a salt run. It just, it just, this, this is all about keeping it simple, you know, but, but also having what like elegance. I don't know why they don't cook this more for Thanksgiving. I, I just don't know. This right here is, this is a, oh my goodness. No, I'll get it right here. Look at it though. So look guys, what we're gonna do, y'all see it now. That, that is a, y'all see that this is a uh, bone in, a bone in, pork roast. So we're gonna hit it. So I got some flake salt right here by 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 um it's diamond crystal mm -hmm. kosher salt, but it's flake salt. I'm gonna go ahead and just hit it all in the nooks and crevices. Cause we wanna get all the salt in this thing. We wanna get a nice salt brine. Uh-huh. Oh my goodness, yeah. I'll raise the flavor, baby. Mm-hmm. Get the edges. Mm-hmm. Salt. Like I say, we're gonna get the salt into this meat. Now we got the 16 mesh black pepper. I'm, I'm gonna start with this right here. I'm gonna start with the bottom first. Right, we're gonna do it up, baby. Uh huh. We're gonna do it up. Oh yeah, that's a great lady garlic. Uh huh. You can smell that just a Oh yeah. God has been good to me, boy. Great family, great opportunities in life. God has been real good to me and my wife and family. All right, look, guys. How's it looking, guys? Is it 10 out of 10, baby? Is it 10 out of 10? Oh, y'all saw us from the get-go doing what we do. Mm-hmm.
Let's see, can I get it? Let's see, can I squeeze something in there? Get a little, oh! Get a little, oh. Try to put my pinky finger out like my boy Rick Meestar say. Put, a little, put my little pinky finger out from that thing a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Put my pinky finger up on him. Pinky finger. Put the pinky finger up on him, guy. What's you talking about that? Hey, you got this little bone. Make these bones like here. And that foil. So they can do what they do. I want the bones to get all... They get this smoker fired up, put it on smoke setting. You about to let these these jokers do what they do. Uh huh. We ain't gonna play with it though, they. All right, look, Uncle Sid, come look at him. Did I put my pinky finger up, Uncle Sam? Oh yeah, but oh yeah, and you and you putting your little feet on him. Oh, I put my pinky finger and my feet on Uncle Sam. Yeah, he was revving up the little feet. Yeah, that for the bones can steam, Uncle Sam. They get snow white. They get like super white, Uncle Sam. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the bones get super white, and they, they get all the meat come off the bone. Mm -hmm. You wrap them like here. You cooking that day? Yeah, I'm thinking about cooking the day tomorrow, probably today. <laughs> for Papa Al. You sure going to need Papa Al. Mm -hmm. All that meat there. I think I may take, I may, I think, I may let him have this one. I don't know what, he'll need one on. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah, so I'm just going to give him uh, Papa, best friend. Love you, Papa. Yeah. Motivator, inspirational Papa Al. Instigator. Yeah, you need to put one on that one. Oh. <laughs> uh, which one? Yeah, right there. Yeah. Yeah, they're looking like Looking like somebody else. Yeah, look like he knocked a hole in him. Huh? Look like a guy from the butcher, like that. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> what did they say? What is that? He said, uh, I can't see. Just cook it today so we can see the finished final product. Okay, yeah, I cook it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yes, sir. We'll do. We'll do. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. What y'all want me to cook it on? Pellet grill? Stick burner, what y'all gonna cook it on, guys? Uh, please don't tell me stick burner because it's so cold out there. <laughs> I, I, I ain't like, I'm cooking on the grill, god darling. <laughs> y'all finna make me freeze. <laughs> Let me get another piece of little foil, Uncle Sid. <laughs> oh man, it's cold out there. I know it is, Uncle Sid. Let me get a piece of little foil, hey, Uncle Sid. You need some more foil? Just a little piece, a little tiny little piece. Okay. A slugger, like you said, a slugger. A slither. A slither, and Uncle Sid will make you turn black, won't it? <laughs> <laughs> we ain't got enough of this big rolls, so it's going to... Let me get a little tiny look, look, look. Thank you. Yes, Sliver. Sir. Yes, sir. It is cold out like there. Uh-huh. Make you say, ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. Help. She ain't gonna eat this meat now. Who? You. You gonna eat it? You, you want 
point. You, you no, I, I, it's some more in him. I just, oh. yeah. Oh, more. Well, I get me because I get some out here. All right. <coughs> Bless me. I'm trying not to sneeze. All that light cover. Let me get on it. Like something they ain't never had nothing before. See. Who acting like that? This dog gone pork on. Oh, yeah. Acting like he ain't never had nothing before. I ain't never had nothing like that before. Y'all the pork loin saying that. Oh. I, 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 I ain't. I'm pulling a little black pepper crust on, on top of this grandpa's pecan rub. That TNT black pepper crust. I wish I could have. I, I should have had more black pepper too, but I didn't. But that gonna really. Oh, you gonna put that on top of the pork loin? Make it pop with this uh, 16 mesh. Man. Y'all see it, guys. Wow. God dang. Oh, boy. I, I, I got to gut this. Uh, I got to uh, bone out this, this other pork loin. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put it on a smoker, I'm gonna say let it sit for a little bit up. Alright. And then I'll put it on a smoker. Oh, yeah, do what I do. Yes, D. Well. Yummy, yummy. For your time, do you like what you see, guys? No, 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 no. I'm trying to put it on this plate right here. I'm going to put it on the plate. I don't got the whole plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to bone out a couple lines. Oh, oh. I might have a couple. You want to see another one? Huh? You want to Yeah. I'm going to bone out a couple of these lines, and then I'm going to, uh... You when is the October and Christmas fest or whatever y'all say it is? Oh. Yeah. Is he big? Yeah. No, last time it was like 7,000 people out there, honey. 7,000? Yeah. They don't, oh, why don't do it up for that? Uh, oh, man, they do it like block the street off like the other Yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. Oh, man. I'm making me like $300. <laughs> <laughs> but when we start cooking? Uh, probably Wednesday. Yeah. Got to wrap the potatoes and everything. And yeah, what are, what are you planning on serving? I'm going to do potatoes, macaroni and cheese. Oh, yes. Said, got it ready to go. Hey, son. How you doing? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and lay it out a little bit. I'm 
bit. Uh, get it right, big daddy. I'm going to stuff this later on. I'm going to make a stuff for this right here. I'm just going to stuff it. Yeah, I'm going to stuff it. Got no beef. No beef. No uh, pork. Ten on the way now. Are you, what you gonna do with that? that I'll, I'll gonna make a big old. See oh. that you can stuff the pork tenderloin inside of the pork oh. loin, but oh. we'll do that for another video. Oh, I'm just seeing something like that'll oh. be amazing. There was some bacon on it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I just want to bone that out. Mm hmm. You put, you put this in a bag for me, Uncle like Sid? Ziploc? Yeah, right here, here you go. Just leave it right there, I'm gonna come to you. Oh, I'm gonna go in, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, just leave it there, I got the bag. Okay, okay. Yeah, that'll Praise be another video. Gloves. I put it in the gloves, just bring the bag. <sighs> Iowa beat Nebraska. I'm gonna go post the shoes up. You better show them better, boy. Got some flip flops, and then we finna, uh, Representation. <laughs> Representation. As y'all saw, how that look right there? Look very pretty on it. Pretty, 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 pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Hey. All right. So what we're gonna do? Uh, <laughs> so what we're gonna do, buddy? We're gonna uh. So we got everything butchered up, twined up. We gonna go outside to the smoker. I'm gonna get the smoker fired up. Man, I'm telling you what. Look at this beautiful thing right here. It is amazing. Yes, yes, Kali, yeah, baby. You should have seen it when I first started, Kali. It looked like this. It took a lot of hard work, Uncle said, don't it? Yeah. It, it looked pretty like this Uncle Sam's word. Like something wrapped up in the stove. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Khalid. Yeah, buddy. And yeah, look at this right here. And that grandpa's pecan roll on that thing. Ah. Is that? Pecan roll, baby. Yeah, we're gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna let it do what it do. Beauty and the beast, god dang it. We about to let that thing, we're gonna sit there and let them smoke. Smoke, smoke with me tonight. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed, baby. We're about to smoke, baby. I got a little hint of the black pepper on that thing. Grandpa's pecan roll with some black pepper. Mm hmm. Yeah, with some rosemary. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna, get the, we're gonna get the smoker fired up. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, brother Khalid. Happy Thanksgiving, brother. Hey, hey, y'all check out my boy Khalid. Yes, yes. Barbecue bourbon and blue. Khalid, all I said. Check out my boy Khalid.
Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, baby. Got to clean up my man. Hey, Dallas. About to put these things on the smoker. Hey, babe, can I get some sandals, honey? And a, uh, uh, I mean, uh, some slides, honey. Terry, your husband wants some slides. Trying to walk outside. This. Can you do daddy a favor? No, I'm sorry. You take these, take these garbage out for me. Yeah. Thank you, son. Mm. You might want I work this morning. I didn't work very long. I only worked Coyote Open this morning. Oh, okay. You heard me, T? Huh? Bring them two cans up to the house. The, oh, the trash bag? Did they come? I didn't hear them. I'm going to sleep with it. It's like I'm drifting. Right. Thank you, son. The son, Thyre, y'all. Hey. So I'm gonna wipe the slide. We're going outside to the uh yeah. to the smoker. We're gonna fire it up. Hey, if you ask me, do it. Yeah. We got we, we, we got we get it taken care of, guys. Any questions yet? I think we'll start with the smoke setting. We wanna get some, we'll use the pellet grill. Uh, I think I'm pulling that pellet grill up. Oh. I'm gonna get a real good smoke here, cook them low and slow. That what you think, Uncle uh, said? On the pit boss? Yeah, on, on, on the pit boss. Yeah, the pit boss can cook it, man. And they wrap that by the door. <laughs> you heard me? Yes, sir, yes, and sir. Right by the door. Mm hmm. That pit boss is doing the do. See, I'm gonna give these eggs. You ain't gonna eat them. What eggs? Right now. Go ahead. You don't want them? No. You show them. No eggs. No, no, no eggs. I'm sorry. Yeah. Hey, you can go ahead and let that, let that season <laughs> soak in one time. Mm. All right, guys. I'm going to walk outside and get the pit ball fired up, okay? I'll be back with you. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. I got outside get fired up. You want to trap that in this? Yeah, yes, I do so. Okay. Yeah. Uncle said we live just in case. We live. <laughs> I'm trying to find some, I think I got some over here. It's cold, Daddy. Yeah, it's super cold outside. <laughs> hey, All right, I'll say I feel like we need this dog on smoker fire up. Okay. Smoke dog! All right, guys, we're about to get the smoker fire up, baby. 
I know I got a core along with this core. Let me see. Get your up oh, there going up. There it is. All right, guys, let's go outside if we get the smoker fired up. I want to go outside in the rain. Hey. Do, do, do. I want to go outside. Got my pit boss right there, baby. Pit boss, hashtag pit boss nation. Uh huh. I think I'm gonna keep them all on the same rack at the same time. I'm going to put me right to here. I don't want to dirty all my racks. I only need two of them, I think. That's all I need. Probably just put racks over here. Out of the way. Make this one rack will be good for two. One. Okay. 200 degrees. I got all dirty. I got all dirty. My apron got all dirty. Ooh, that was a smoke. Smoke dog. Smoke dog. 
Hoo hoo, smoke doll, baby. This ain't smoking like like such. Finished product. Hey, I like that though. We're going to put it in the smoke and let it go. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Pit Boss, baby. Hashtag Pit Boss Nation. What's up? What's cold out here? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. All right, guys. Look, man. It's been a hot minute. I love y'all. Terry, what up, Terry? It is looking good in here, right now, baby. It is looking good in baby, right now. Yes, D, yes, D, we'll let them cook. We'll let them go in. Slice to one on. We're gonna let it just smoke. Make sure we got no pellets. We got enough. That's what we're gonna do. All right, guys. I bring y'all in with a finished product coming, okay? Love y'all. God bless. Peace. God bless you. God bless America. We out of here. Peace.